Hi guys, my name is Moses Schneider and I'm a record producer and sound engineer based in Berlin. Let me introduce to you the Human Beat Pack. Lots of super duper cool and vibrant grooves recorded with state of the art recording techniques. Nice one, super, sehr geil. Apfel S, Apfel Next, ne? I'm talking about new and fresh perspectives on a drum kit using different microphone positions and analog processing by Elysia's genius little helpers. The aim is to close the gap between the world of traditional, natural analog recording on the one hand, the computer and sample based modern way of producing on the other. Liveness versus the world of autotune and beat detectives. The challenge is, how can I combine these two worlds? How can I keep the human groove and performance, the unforeseen, <laughs> nee, ne? but giving it an electronic attitude or appeal? When people ask, how have they programmed it, though it's all human, then I feel quite happy. The Human Beat Pack is a really cool journey into sound. It is pure fun and I hope it gives you lots of inspiration for writing and producing. Half of it is hip hop, half of it is rock, and the other half is... Pop <laughs> Fox! Most of it, would, I would say, is pop. Yeah! I experimented a lot with all kinds of different mic types and mic positions that I call the scenario, the boost, and the drum. In combination with over compression, distortion, and groove gates, formerly known as noise gates. The groove gates tighten the sound before the signal gets squeezed, bended in any way, which adds lots of overtones. Some people call it the Mose Schneider method. Nun ja. Analog treatment means you make decisions. The treatment is destructive. There's no undo. But luckily, We recorded all heavily treated tracks parallel, untreated. So you can mix the grooves your own way, using your own little helpers. The human beatback contains stereo mixes my way, plus up to 22 single audio tracks. If you want to know all the details about how we recorded it, and what the Moses Schneider method is about, we have made some extra tutorials. Click the link in the description and dive deep into my world of recording. I had the wonderful chance to record with one of my favorite drummers, Demian Kappenstein. In one of my favorite recording studios, the Lee Music Studios in the south of France. using the unbelievable, the one and only, Elysia Gear Tower to produce a modern, state-of-the-art, extraordinary human beat pack. Let's say a dream came true. Since my mother gave me the Blue Beatles double album, I immediately fell in love with recording techniques. They made me curious and inspired me to look for new sounds, to check out the limits and to break the rules. It's yeah. magic. <laughs> It's too magic. It's magic. Yeah. It's magic. The mastermind magic. of Elysia, Ruben Tilgner. <laughs> the man who invented the transient designer and other genius curve and circuit bending gear mentioned that his inventions and my way of recording might be an explosive mixture. 
Here's the gear that we have used in the session for that recording. It starts with the Sculpture 500, amazing preamp with a lot of internal features that we have used. Then it goes to the Empressor 500, our creative compressor to form the sound for the essential microphones for that drum sound here. Then to the character to do some overdrive and saturation, which sound really amazing. Then the X-Filter 500 to EQ several microphones, especially the voice in the room. And then the envelope to enhance the room mics um, and other microphones. Why working with Damian Kappenstein? Besides that, he is a really cool drummer and funny dude. He studied improvisation, which became important when we were concentrating on the groove variations. He easily developed the groove from section to section without losing the feel. He stays stylish. And I love him for his curiosity. Slap, stick. Always looking for different materials for sticks, skins and bodies of sound. That will keep us busy for <laughs> another week. <laughs> Leute, das ist wie Birthday und Christmas at the same time. Why recording at Lee Music Studio? First, they have many, 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 many great many, sounding many. recording rooms. All spaces are linked to the control room, audio and video. Second. As you can see, the, over there is a speaker and a microphone installed, so we can use this space as a reverb channel. The music has different echo chambers, like a spectacular orangerie, huge wooden wine cask, and even bigger concrete casks. Third, every cable works. Nothing needs to be fixed. No waste of time for troubleshooting. Fourth, the stuff makes everything possible, nothing is impossible. They never seem to sleep. Fifth, the food. No need to say that we are in the south of France. And finally, the breathtaking surrounding. With an unbelievable panorama. Ja, weil der, der Beat wird berühmt, glaubst du mir. Ich glaub auch, ich <lacht> bin Hit. Das ist ein Hit. Bleib dran. I had so much fun during the whole process. When we started it, we had no idea where it will lead us to. Now, the human beat pack is a result of curiosity and expertise, made with love and respect.
Okay, that's it for today. I hope you feel inspired now. Have fun and thanks for listening.